Hello professor, this is for my milestone 3 for CST236. My name is David Pratt. I'm just going to be showing you the new updates that I've made. So first of all, I've made it so that the, the home page, the index page, is not protected anymore. Um, but I can also log in and register, so we'll go ahead and do that. I'm going to log in as admin. I think that's the right login. You can see that this uh, nav bar up here is a little bit different. I've got users and products. If I'm to log out and I go in as rig user, let's pass, uh, you can see that the, the uh, nav bar up here actually has different things on it. As a regular user, if I attempt to, let's see, go to, um, geez, what is it? We're going to go to see all users. It just tells you that you don't have the required permissions. So we'll go admin. Actually, we're going to, sorry, log out first. And then go admin, admin. And we've got the home page here. We've also got users and products. So I'll show you these really quick. You've got all of the users in the database right here. I filled it up with some mock data just to get a look at it. Um, and we'll do the same for products see all the products that are in the database. For the users, one notable thing that I left out, I did not do passwords. Um, if this was a real application, I didn't want anybody to be able to see the passwords. But you can see that whether or not they're an admin, you can see, you know, their username and their password, their first and last name, their middle initial, I'm sorry, not their password, but their username and email, um, and whether or not they're, they're an admin. So we'll go ahead and this one right here, I'm just going to delete it just for fun. Delete and it's gone. You can see it's no longer there. And if we actually go into the database here, that's the products. If we go into users, you can see that user one is no longer there. So we can go back and we can, let's take Sorette uh, Malthouse, I suppose, and we will edit her. We're going to give her admin uh, permissions. So we'll submit those changes. You see that it was edited and now she is down at the bottom and she is an admin at this point. So, um, yeah, that's the updates to the products, or to, I'm sorry, to the users. Uh, if we go to the products, we can see all products, and we can do sort of the same thing for these. Um, we're gonna go ahead and delete the pomegranate. You get all this information here on a modal, click delete, and it's gone, and if we go back into products, and ignore all those. You can see the pomegranate no longer shows up on our database. So we're in here. We'll edit this one. We will give it quantity on hand of 14 and submit those changes. And now Apple only has 14 on hand. Um, the other things you can do, we can add a user. Um, I won't go through showing you all this, but you can give them admin permissions and you've got the whole, the whole kit and caboodle there you can add their passwords I included that there because if you're adding a user you need to be able to add a password you can also do the same thing for products I did it as an image file location so um, and I specified down here how you need to store it and we can see those in here in images all the images are right there you can't really tell because it's dark but there they are so now on to the code and um, we're going to show you I did something different to I have a page called header in here that I've been including in all of my um, in all of my separate files. So headers right here. Um, if admin is set, we're going to include the admin nav bar. If otherwise, we're going to include the regular one. And then this is all the links and stuff. And then we'll go down to the index page. Or I didn't change anything on the index page. I'm sorry. So we've got product data that we added a few things into. Just add product. Um, delete product and then edit, which uses both add and delete. And I'm just going to show you the product ones, trying to keep this video short. Um, just going to show you the product ones. The users do exactly the same thing, just with the user's information. Um, so you actually, in this edit product where I was at, um, we're trying to delete the product. We'll actually take it out of the database. And then if it's actually successfully deleted, then we'll insert a new product, which we're passing in. So the way that I've used this in the handlers, which I will go up and find the product handler here in one sec. It's so hard to see. Sorry, it's sunny outside and I can't see my computer very well. Um, is it up here? There's add product. Edit product right there. So you can see that 
I've actually passed in creating a new product model and then passed in that new product. And it actually is mostly this, it, it takes all that information from that form, from this form right here, and then uses it to create a new product and then add that product in. So this will, um, I'm sorry, it'll take all of it from the edit product page, but no matter, it's basically the same thing. Um, and it deletes it using the old ID and then adding the new product in with a new ID. So that's why you saw when I deleted the Apple, it went from the being number one to being all the way on the bottom. Um, I'm sorry, when I edited that user, it went from being, she went from being on the top to being on the way on the bottom because I actually delete it from the database and then re-enter it as a new, a new product, a new uh, row there on the, in the database. So, um, and like I said, add, um, the user, I'm sorry, the, the uh, user side of it is all the same. And business is just a wrapper for those, basically. It doesn't do much as far as um, logic goes. It just instantiates a data class and then uses that to call it the different functions of that data class. So, um, yeah, that is my that is my new project. That is my the updates. I'm trying to think if I left anything out. But I think we are all good. So... You can edit, delete, and see all of them. So thank you, and uh, we'll talk to you soon.